And welcome again to my channel, everybody. Alan Warren, the RV Wingman, and today's video is very important. Very. Now, to begin, as a follow-up to my last video, when I mentioned that I had been advised to not befriend Kevin Fraser at Cheyenne Camping Center, I want to clarify what I meant. When I asked people in the RV industry about the video named Camping World Review, The Truth, and what they thought about it, they said, you do not want to piss off Marcus Lemonis. I said, yeah, but what about the video? What do you think about the video? People just kind of shook their heads and basically said, it's kryptonite. It's toxic. Don't touch it. If Marcus Lemonis turns on you, you will regret it. Then I asked him, I said, but is what the man said in the video true? And everybody said, just don't go there. Not if you want to stay in business. But you know what? My gut told me what the man in the video was saying was true. It was. If it is true, then it sounds like this guy, Marcus, is acting like a financial bully, maybe even a con man. And people are getting hurt. So I went against everyone's advice, I did, and I reached out to Kevin Fraser, and it was like, oh my God, he is smart and honest and fearless, and I think he hates bullies probably more than I do. So all this brings me to today's video. What you're about to see is five years old, it is. And while the prices on RVs and interest rates have of course changed, the concept of how Campy World does business and how people find themselves in financial purgatory is the same. And the bad news is that today it's not just Campy World who's doing this. Other big chains are doing it too. Now, if you'd prefer to watch the original Camping World Review, The Truth video, a link is down below in the description. But according to YouTube analytics, just so you know, most people won't watch anything more than about 10 or 12 minutes long, no matter how good it is. But again, a link to the original video is below. So my ask of you today is that you will share this with others. There are so many sheep out there that are being led to the financial slaughter, and we need your help in helping them to see the light. Hi, this is Harry Downs. Account number 000-0042916. I need the payoff amount for a trailer I bought from Camping World last year. That's right, a Salem 261. I went to trade it in and the dealer in Iowa said I owed over 20000 so I need to get the right payoff amount. What? 20322 I just bought it for $12,999. How can I owe $20,322 five months later? I did call Camping World and they told me to call you. The following video is my personal opinion based upon my sad and alarming experience with Camping World in all its forms. I'm Kevin Fraser, the president and founder of Cheyenne Camping Center. Harry tells me he took our eBay ad for a 26BH trailer to a camping world in Missouri to see if they would match the price shown in our ad. Don't go to Iowa, they said to Harry. We will match the price and provide everything you need, including financing. And now Harry owes more than $20,000 on a trailer worth 12. He would like to trade with us, but he has been buried up to his eye sockets by Camping World. I said to my wife Susan, I'm hearing about people like Harry nearly every day. Are these people really that foolish? Susan stopped me. She said, people are generally not that foolish unless greed is involved. This sounds like a con job, a confidence trick. I said, like the movie Used Cars, first get their trust, then get their confidence, then get their money. She said, no, 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 not used cars. That was a comedy. There's nothing funny about what happened to these people. They are being taken advantage of by ruthless, heartless, professional tricksters. What happened to Camping World customers like Harry is shocking. The worst I've seen in 50 years. At Camping World headquarters in Chicago, they have polished and perfected obnoxious confidence tricks to fleece RV customers. Harry wasn't dumb, he was just rolled by pros. 
This is Tom, and like myself, he was blessed when he married a woman that could spot a double dealer from a mile away. I understand you went shopping for an RV at Camping World. Yes, and my wife insisted I say nothing until she read every word. Well, she really got me off the hook this time. How'd that work out? <laughs> Thankfully, she saved me from a $10,000 ripoff. You went to the Camping World store with this ad? Yeah, we wanted this trailer so we could spend more time with the grandkids. It had a couple bunks and was less than $16,000, which is what our budget was. After your wife put a stop to the Camping World deal, you came to our store with this ad. Yeah, and your brother Mike took us out and showed us that trailer. What happened when you arrived at Camping World with your magazine ad? He took my magazine and said, we don't have that trailer. We just run those ads to get people in. Well, then he showed me one for $25,000 told him I wasn't interested unless it was under our budget of $16,000. When I asked about used, he said they don't take many trades. I asked what if I bought one and wanted to trade in the future. He said nobody trades with us. But hey, if you come back, it's not like I'm going to kick you off the lot or anything. So, no used RVs and only new ones that were $25,000. Until I started to leave, then he remembered he had one like in the magazine. That's when the adventure started. At our first meeting, I asked you how you felt when you canceled the deal with Camping World the morning after you reviewed these papers. Well, I felt guilty because three men had spent five hours working with me. They spent five hours working you over. A con artist is a con man who can make the mark feel guilty. Yeah, I understand that now. It's not right. Start to finish with paperwork in your hand for your wife. How long were you with my brother Mike? About an hour. Camping World needed three men in five hours to fool you and hide the dirty deeds in these documents. Well, I can see it now, but everything seemed reasonable when I was with those guys at Camping World. These are professional confidence men trained in the Chicago way. That's how they intended you to feel. Here is the Camping World ad and the Cheyenne Camping Center eBay ad both with the starting price at $15,999. Yeah, but now I understand that the final price is what to compare. Tom, this is the sales agreement from Camping World and the sales agreement from Cheyenne Camping Center. Have you reviewed these? Yeah, my wife and I read every word. When your wife said to cancel at Camping World, did, did she say why? She said there were too many payments and $10,000 was missing. Well, she's right. That's the main way they hide their dirty dealing. Very long payment schedules, but always with the same advertised price. You asked to buy a hitch. Okay, but then what's this PKGTT? What did they tell you that was for? To make the trailer ready and to show me how to use it. They said it's not like cars and that everybody has it as a standard charge. No, no, no. Every decent dealer has forever included that as part of the deal. And what's this? What about the freight? He said it's not like cars. If you went to your grocery store and you rang up $300 worth of goods and then on the tape appeared $795 for freight. I'd walk out and never return. $155 for a battery? You might not know it, but a modern RV cannot be operated without a 12 volt battery. Have you ever bought a car without a battery? He said it's not like cars. This next line is a complete outrage. Finish and fabric policy? They didn't really give you much of a choice on this one. They said I had to have it because of the way RVs were. Well, if the exterior were to ever crack or peel or weather or anything like that, they'd strip off the old and put brand new on. We said it was cheap at $10 a month. Well, they lied to you. Look at the finish and fabric warranty. Buff damage surface and reapply protection. No remedy other than those listed above. If you have any claims, they don't fix it. They just spray more of the crap on it that didn't protect it in the first place. In the RV business, this is a notorious scam. Been going on for decades. How they got a higher sales tax is beyond me. And the same goes for the license and fees. Those are Iowa standard fees for documentation. Did they tell you what the second documentation fee was for? Well, they said it was to make government and bank filings. That's what the line above is for. Okay, vehicle service contract. These are also known as extended warranties. You know, they're not really warranties. You told my brother you were opposed to them. Yeah, I told them and I told your brother, Mike, that I self-insure. 
I always thought they made money on those policies, so the risk is manageable. I did ask your brother how much for a six-year extended service policy, and he said $727, which I thought was pretty good. But when I showed interest, he said, do you really want to buy an intangible product? Your wife would be proud, but why did you agree to pay Camping World $2,650 for a policy? I'd already pretty much decided to buy the trailer, and they convinced me I'd be making a mistake without coverage. One of the Camping World guys told me that RVs break more than cars. He said it's like pulling your house through a hurricane during an earthquake. Pulling your house through a hurricane during an earthquake. Wow, who would ever want to own an RV? I'm sure these lines are focus group, but wow. Plus, he insisted I was getting a huge discount, and it only increased my payment by 20-some bucks. That was most of the pitch, right? Payment, payment, payment. Never the price of the RV, never the length of the loan, just payment, payment, payment. And always the offer of huge discounts from imaginary prices. As a smart shopper, you declined my brother's offer of an extended service plan. I did. There was no pressure from Mike. The high pressure con men at Camping World almost got you for $2,650 for a good SAM policy. To add insult to injury, you could have gone online. Same company, Good Sam, and bought the exact same policy for a little over $1,400. Well, that's just criminal. Uh, no, it's not criminal. Crooked, yes, very crooked. And you can bet that the Chicago lawyers will stand on the letter of law for Camping World. Tom, you and your wife have spectacular credit scores in the top 1% of all American households. When we applied for credit on your behalf, my brother was able to secure for you the lowest rates available in May of 17. Just a few days before, Camping World presented you with a loan approval but a loan approval at a much higher interest rate, 27% higher, in fact. You told my brother, Mike, that you wanted your payment to be under $160. Yeah, close to $150, if possible. My brother, Mike, provided a $157 payment, but for 84 months, seven years. Yeah, that was good. These uh, Camping World documents show the much higher rate for 144 months. That's, that's 12 years. And the payment, believe it or not, is four bucks higher. Woof. This means that over the life of this loan, you'd be paying $4,500 more in interest. This is the part that spooked my wife. That money goes to the bank, so why is Camping World doing this to their customers? Because Camping World gets a kickback from the bank. That kickback is at least $1,500, as we will see. Camping World gouges you for an extra $4,500 in interest charges so that they can get a piece of the interest that you pay to the bank. How many times did they offer to extend the terms even longer than the 12 years? Many times. All three of them mentioned extended terms. The average car truck loan in America is about 69 months, about six years. These Camping World people can hide a lot of dirty dealing in RV loans that are as long as mortgages. People don't notice because the payment is the same as it is on their new truck, except it's for twice as long. Where's the law? Wouldn't I like to know. But let's see what your wonderful wife saved you. The same RV with my brother, all in, $19,198. With Camping World, $29,557. Those three men at Camping World seem so friendly, so reasonable, so smooth. Well, they picked your pocket to the tune of 10,000 and change. I guess with Camping World, what's yours is theirs. As I said, prices and interest rates have certainly changed in the five years since Kevin produced that original video, but the slick tricks and tactics that you just heard about are still a vital part of the Camping World playbook. They are. And guess what? Many other chains have learned that they can bury the uneducated buyer too, and they can make a fortune, and they do every single day. Please help us get this video out there by sharing it by talking about it with others. We'll have part two in my next video, but I'm interested in hearing your thoughts about this one. 
drop a comment below or call our 24-hour voice mailbox and let her rip at 1-330-WINGMAN. That's 1-330-946-4626. 1-330-946-4626. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.